Juneteenth as protesters march across the country protesting for equality, that quest goes beyond just the justice system. Many are seeking ways to bridge the systemic wealth inequality that has lasted for generations. Now one entrepreneur is trying to help close that gap with an app to encourage savings by young black Americans. ABC's Deirdre Bolton has the story. It's a nationwide call to action for black youth energized by Goal Setter, an app that teaches kids the basics of financial literacy, and helps them save. The goal this Juneteenth, get a million African-American kids to open their own savings accounts. That getting one million African-American kids to save is like teaching a million slaves to read. It's putting us on uh, the path to freedom. Activist Shauna Lee Waddell has partnered with the app's creator to spread the concept of goal-based savings to kids across the country. He's also a cousin of the late boxing great Muhammad Ali. Yeah. And I upset Sonny Lister, and I just turned 22 years old. I must be the greatest. He would always tell them, you know, go to school and be one of the money people. Like, many of us had never heard, you know, financial terms in, in our language, where it didn't sound foreign to us. And when we heard it in our terms, like through hip-hop lyrics, he had some from Jay-Z and different folks, it didn't sound so foreign. That's what's keeping these kids interested. And so far, it seems to be working. It's very easy to use. The top thing is that don't be impulsive. It makes learning about money management and being financially aware fun. Goal Setter connects with users' traditional bank accounts and encourages people to start saving right away. The youngest participants are newborns. Families can contribute money to a baby's account for gifts or to put towards college. The idea is to start saving from cradle to graduation. Goal Setter's founder says centuries of systemic racism contributes to a major wealth disparity extending to present day. But Tanya Van Court believes this initiative can help reverse that curse. When the slaves walked off of those plantations in 1865 and they were told that they were free, but they didn't have any money, they didn't have any wealth, they didn't have any land. If we can get a Goal Setter savings account, with the financial literacy that we offer. Those kids will be financially savvy. They'll be investors, they'll be savers. They won't be on a path towards a negative net worth. A Federal Reserve report shows that the median African-American household net worth in 2016 stood at $17,600, compared to the median white household with a net worth of $171,000, a nearly tenfold difference. 19% of black households has zero or negative net worth. 450 years of compound interest is a lot of compound interest. And in order to, to have a shot at closing that wealth gap, we have to know about money, how to grow money, how to build wealth, and how to build generational wealth. Creative initiatives such as this one can make a difference, but some experts say it's only one step towards African Americans having full financial equality. Even if we save every cent, it would take hundreds of years to close that wealth gap. Um, so literacy is important. Don't, uh, don't ever question financial literacy. It's vitally important. Um, but um, we also need to correct for policy um, if we're going to close that sizable gap. A sobering thought this Juneteenth, as the country grapples with ensuring that all Americans can share in the founding promises of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Deirdre Bolton, ABC News, New York. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.